What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trey here, back again with another video. And today, I will be going over Zion Williamson's unlucky injury history. This man, Zion, has got to be one of the unluckiest players in the league right now. Every time we we discuss him as a top, about to be on the cusp of being top 10, boom, an injury happens. Every time, it, it sucks. It really, it really does sucks. He one of the best finishers in the league. It's no, it's no one probably close. He he can jump out the gym. He's six seven, two a, a wrecking ball. Two like what sixty five plus like that man is a bruiser. You do not want to mess with him with all that size and strength. And folks want him to lose like tremendous weight. No, he just need to he need to keep some of that size because that's what make him Zion. But yeah, we all know what Zion all about. Like, folks don't need to get that twisted. Let's not get that twisted at all. But his injury history, it's just something to look at. It's just a mysterious case. Because back in high school, you we didn't see no injuries like being a problem. Because he was just this athletic freak. We seen on Instagram, high flying dunks. Bullying, you know, smaller competition. We didn't see injury history. Duke, for like most of the season, we did not see an injury, uh, you know, being a problem in the next level. They all of a sudden, they play a rival game, Duke versus North Carolina. For like one of the first possessions of the game, he blows his shoe out and ended up hurting his knee. That's the stuff that, like, how that's that's crazy. That's very freak. You you blow through your shoe for one of the first possessions of the game, and you hurt your knee. That that's that's pretty wild. That that is pretty wild, dude. And he ended up coming back from that injury pretty okay, especially one of those blocks I seen. Oh yeah, he came back quick, fast, and hurry. I think where he leads his team to the Sweet Sixteen, Elite Eight. It's one of the it was it's one of them because they definitely make the final four. Because they lost to Michigan State. Yeah. And this is where, like, his luck has just been even worse. Now, in the, you know, some of it, you know, he's just go going through most. You know, nobody really trying out there. Okay. Boom. Go to training camp. Nothing's really a problem. Okay. His first preseason. He was doing good. We seen some highlights. Okay, we go, this going to be the next big thing. Then all of a sudden, they say he tore his meniscus. And I'm looking like, where did this come from? Where, when did he hurt himself? Like, getting a torn meniscus. So you already at this event. So that's like, what, month, month or two right there. You already have to miss a month or two in your in the NBA season. For a torn meniscus. From a play, I don't know if it's on the internet. I'm probably going to have to look it up. Then pretty much, he, they was being very cautious with him. They didn't have him play a lot of games. They they was, like, giving him men's restrictions when he was coming back. It was just a frustrating, frustrating season for Zion. Then it got so bad to the point where up until contract negotiations within, like, the last year or two, the the Zion rep <laughs> did not appreciate that. Zion himself didn't like that either. That they were just withholding his minutes when he came back. He wanted to play because all competitors want to play. But from the Pelican side, I understand because he's this a uh, a uh, uh, very major injury. You have to take care of it, or it's going to linger, which it did to a degree because. Within the season, it's, they started to report knee soreness. Like, it's just bad. Then we go to the following season. And he played the most games in his career up until this point. 61 out of 72 games. Since, since it was a 72 game season that season. Man, that nobody expected that. Because especially what happened what happened last season. Folks thought he was just gonna be, you know, low management this season. Or that season in particular. And to his credit, he did a good job staying healthy. You know, he had a thumb injury, but he was playing through that. But the unfortunate part is the reason why he wasn't 72 out of 72 was because he broke his foot going up for a dunk or something. He came down wrong. 
He had to miss the following season, didn't play a single game because he was rehabbing the broken foot. And now this is the point in time where it just it was just getting bleak for him. It was just it was just very tough. He couldn't do nothing. You know, he's showing up the game, you know, he's just photoshopping him, you know, putting on extra pounds to his pictures, you know, call him this, call him that, and he couldn't really respond to nothing because he was rehabbing. He wanted to be out there. It's it's unfortunate that he sustains these injuries. They 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 call him out for being fat. They they do everything. They drag him through the mud, saying he don't want to be there, even though he haven't said a word. But you know, folks are showing he just unhappy. He didn't. He don't. You know, train properly. All of this stuff like that's insane. If any human being, especially young ones, of course. They are going to gain weight when they injure because they don't. You, you have to be on LeBron type level of training and commitment to your body at a young age to understand that you're going to gain weight. You have to do this. You have to. That's that's not fair to Zion. That's not fair to any freak athlete that's coming up to to expect that from them out the out the gate. Then we come into this season. Zion was starting out good. The Pelicans, you know, they Brandon Ingram, they started out good. Season McCollum started out good. They was they was getting number one seed talks. It was just it was all going good. Then all of a sudden Zion get another foot injury. I'm not sure if it was the same one or not. But it's been a thing this 2022-23 season, though. Everybody's just staying foot injuries. A D, LeBron. Who else? MB, Zion. It, I think Brandon Ingram had a toe injury. Like all of these different foot injuries has been a reoccurrence this season for some reason. And I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, he get a foot injury. Then, you know, then I think he was in health and safety protocols, had to recondition himself. Then all of a sudden, now we at the point where Zion, he was playing a couple games. Then all of a sudden, he get a hamstring injury playing against the Sixers. He grabbed the rebound. He felt something. He just had to give the ball up. Like, now it's starting to get a concern about weight because soft tissue injuries is nothing to play with. It's, I don't think, and matter of fact, he's in, now let's not, you know, get it twisted. This man is in great condition right now. Compared to last season, he's definitely in great condition. Nobody can deny that at all. It's just hamstring injuries, I, soft, soft tissue injuries. That's that's very, very concerning. Very. And, and as of today, they said he re-aggravated the injury. So I, I don't know. I don't know what needs to be done to solve that. Maybe he probably do need to set a couple more pounds. But he don't need to lose all oh, this mass of 20, 30 pounds. Zion is a wrecking ball. He need the size. He need to uh bully folks when his you know he can't just jump over everybody. It just won't happen. He need the low post game where he uses size and weight. He definitely go. He definitely gonna need the weight. But yeah, I don't. It's just so unfortunate for Zion. Zion is a great player, tremendous player. He could be in top 10 conversations where he can sustain uh, at least a healthy stretch. Like, similar to what he did in 2020-2021. Similar to that. If he can sustain that, man. Because he averaged 26 points this year. Oh, wait. Is it 26 points? Yeah, it is 26 points. He averaged 27 that that season where I was where he played eighty four percent of his games, twenty twenty, twenty twenty one. So yeah, and he was one of the best finish no, probably the best finisher in the league. So yeah, it's just unfortunate. I know everybody wanna see Zion Hoop. I do too. It just sucks. And what's so crazy, I picked him like what? In the third round. I he definitely went crazy for me, but the injuries, the unlucky knee recondition, health and safety protocol, it just, it, I feel bad for him. Foot injuries, man, that's tough. 
But hopefully Zaya can recover. Hopefully he can have a better health for maybe the rest of this season, maybe probably next season. But hopefully he can sustain health. The Pelicans do well. And, yeah, just hopefully they do well, go to the playoffs. But, yeah, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Trail Ilmo.